Hey guys, so as we're drawing closer into New Year's Eve, um, I just wanted to reflect on the year that I've had and kind of just record my feelings about where I'm at now and how far I've come and to realize that even at this moment that I'm in, I have more that I can achieve, more than I can come, so, or that can come. So this year has been a super trying year. Um, to say that it is saying the least. Um, we went from being an army family to a not army family. I went from being a stay at home mom to a working mom. Um, went from high, very, very low lows to very high highs. And I have to say, 2015 was not the most trying year that I've ever had, but one of the most internally trying years because I really felt like God was bringing me somewhere the whole year, but I just couldn't touch it. I couldn't feel it. I couldn't see myself. I could see myself there because I pictured it, but I just couldn't understand why I was being taught dragged there almost um and the more i think about it the more i realize that that's how blessings a lot of blessings have happen i mean you have a baby you don't look cute sometimes you're big you're uncomfortable you gain weight your health becomes a question and anything like that and you have this pain before the birth and then you have this amazing baby and you're like, wow, that was worth it kind of thing. And so I feel like this year has been a huge, like, 12 months of birth, <laughs> to say the least. Um, we went from living in Washington to living in California. And it's amazing, but it took a lot to get here. So, there's my son. Get in there. Go, Daddy. Or you can sit here if you want. <laughs> okay. So, here's Taj. You guys haven't seen him in a long time. He's huge. How old are you? How old is that? One, two, three. What's the next one? Four. How old are you? Say it. Say, I'm. I. How old are you? I'm four. I'm four. So, anyway. Yeah, so we went through living with in-laws and my my sister and not sure how my we're going to... My cousins? Gonna, no, not your cousins. And um, not sure how, where our next dollar was going to come from to living in our own place finally and my son having his own room. You like your room? Yeah. Uh, to being toys. able to afford your, toys. you like your toys yeah being able to afford toys and not have to stress too much about money not that we're rolling in it but you know we're we don't have to worry about feeding ourselves basically and there's a lot to go through that you know my husband was uh, the main breadwinner and he went from that to nothing and I had to go back to work which I didn't mind but it was a scary place to go from being a stay at home mom and a in home working mom to an in home working mom and a home working mom so it's worked out but I have to tell you guys when and I'm telling myself this because I could go back and watch this later things all happen for a reason you don't see it in the moment but they all happen for a reason and you just have to count your blessings at every stage and know that it does get better. Um, my grandfather passed this year which was very hard to watch him take his last breath. That was very hard but it's something I'll never forget and I never want to replace with another memory because I was able to be there. Um, had my husband been in the military I wouldn't have been anywhere near him when that happened. So. Hey, stop. So, 
And my son's going to school. Do you like your school? Yeah? What's your teacher's name? Miss Anna. Miss Anna and? Atria. Miss Maria. Atria. Uh -huh. My friends. And your friends? My children teach me my face. Wait, say it again. What? My children my face. No, you say it, say it right. What did Jolie do? My face. What'd she do? She kissed you? Yeah, he's got a girlfriend at school named Jolie. So, everything is good. It just took a while. It took a really long while. And, um, yeah, it took a lot of prayers, a lot of tears. A lot of tears. And a lot of walking out on faith when I didn't even know where I was walking to. I just knew I wanted change. And I knew I didn't want to stay in that negative mindset forever. So, anyway. 2015 is over, almost, and 2016 to come.